Christo, uh, thank you for inviting the Danish Gambling Authority to this session. It's always nice to share our experience with the rest of the world. Um, I would also like to give an overview of the, of the Danish market. We have been regulating uh, online gambling since 1st of January 2012, um, for nearly five years now. The Danish market is a, it's a quite small market compared to, to other uh, countries in Europe. We have uh, uh, potentially 4.2 uh, million players. The, the total GDR for uh, online betting and uh, online casino is uh, about a billion uh, Danish kroner, which is roughly around 150 million uh, euros. Um, we have a partly liberalized market in Denmark, so lotteries are still under the monopoly and uh, for cultural reasons as well as uh, uh, betting on horses. Um, and lotteries are still the the biggest betting uh, the biggest gambling market in Denmark, covering about 35 percent. Uh, betting, land-based and online combined, uh, is the second largest. And uh, in third, you have the gaming machines and uh, arcades and restaurants. Uh, and in fourth place, you have the, on, uh, the uh, online casinos and land-based casinos covers the rest. Uh, so the Danish Gambling Authority is uh, organized under the, the Ministry of Taxation. And taxation being one of these, uh, uh, one of the subjects here, um, need to mention that we do not uh, uh, enforce the tax, uh, taxes on gambling at the, uh, the Danish Gambling Authority. That's uh, part of the Danish Tax Administration, but we are in the same ministry. And when we uh, created the regulation in Denmark, we were uh, trying to affect and, uh, the, the level of taxation. So we were part of that, uh, of creating that. In, in Denmark, we, uh, we license uh, uh, B2C operators. Um, and uh, in Denmark, the, uh, let me rephrase that. Um, uh, it's of course important to, uh, to have an uh, attractive market and uh, make it attractive for both the operators and also for the players so you don't drive them towards the legal market. Um, and uh, I think we've, we've done that. We have also some uh, regulatory uh, tools to, uh, to prevent illegal gambling. Um, first of all, we have the, have the advertisement uh, ban uh, for illegal gamblers and, uh, or illegal uh, operators. Um, and when we opened the market in 2012, uh, the first couple of months, we saw a lot of the uh, illegal promotions uh, in, the, in the mainstream news feed. But uh, we were in dialogue with the news industry, and uh, soon they realized that they couldn't promote uh, operators who were unlicensed. Um, so after about half a year, we, uh, we didn't really see promotion of uh, illegal sites in Denmark. So the advertisement band is, uh, is very powerful uh, because the average user won't be aware of the, uh, of the operators. Um, how we approach when we identify uh, an, an illegal operator. Uh, closer. Like this? Better now? Better. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, where was I? Uh, when we identify uh, an illegal operator on the Danish market, we, uh, we try to approach them uh, with a, a letter, a notice of contravention, and try to start the dialogue. Uh, we are not obligated to do this, but uh, our experience is that this is by far the most uh, effective way to, uh, to stop illegal gambling, because most of the operators we see uh, want to comply. Uh, so when they get, get a letter from us, they say, okay, uh, we, we didn't know this, and uh, sometime it's, sometimes it's a, it's a matter of hours uh, before we see the, the illegal uh, activities being stopped. So this is uh, incredibly effectful. Uh, we do, however, struggle a bit with this, because to do this, we, uh, we need to uh, identify the owners of these uh, uh, websites and that can be the tricky part because the people who, uh, who do not want to comply and uh, uh, are doing that uh, uh, intentionally they, uh, they 
to my experience, uh, um, often uh, hide behind uh, protect, protected uh, company names uh, and the anonymous re registrations. And this makes our uh, job a bit tricky. What we do in these cases is that we, uh, we do not send the notice of contravention. We, do, we go uh, to uh, DNS blocking uh, through the courts. Uh, uh, which is, uh, also, to our experience, also uh, uh, an uh, effectful tool. And uh, I've heard uh, over the years that some people argue that this is, uh, this is uh, useless because uh, the player can bypass the DNS blocking. But from our point of view, the, the purpose with this uh, regulatory tool is to, um, is to uh, prevent the, you know, the mainstream use of the average uh, player uh, from getting to the uh, to the websites, and uh, if a user uh, like me uh, see a website with uh, uh, from uh, with a message from the internet service provider saying we block this uh, this website because of a legal concept, that's sufficient. They don't uh, they don't uh, continue the hunt to get to the to the website. So um, from our experience, it's uh, uh, quite uh, effectful and. Uh, these are the, the tools we've used so far. We also have the, the opportunity to, uh, uh, to make a payment blocking, but we haven't been uh, using, uh, we haven't been uh, in a situation where this is, was necessary yet. And uh, I suspect maybe there would be some difficulties if we were to, were to use it, uh, but time will tell. So, okay. um, so uh, I think uh, Richard has some good points on the B2B. The Danish Gambling Authority does not. Uh, we do not regulate B two B or license them. Um, but uh, I, my own experience with uh, working with the compliance of our technical requirements and our certification programs is that uh, it would somehow make our life uh, a lot easier if we uh, were licensing B two B or B two B companies uh, because. At the moment, we do not uh, have a, a, a legal relationship with the with the with the suppliers. And when you when you uh, have suppliers working and uh, working across licensed operators, it can be difficult. If we see uh, a problem with some game, uh, we need to go through the uh, through the license holder, and it's uh, it would be easier if we could go through to, uh, straight through the piece. Uh, Sorry, but exactly, but, but I must say it, 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 that that's my opinion, and and we are not uh, currently act, actively actively working on uh, uh, implementing B two B licenses. But uh, personally, I think it would be interesting to look into. And uh, a comment on the international liquidity. Um, uh, it's allowed in Denmark, and it's been allowed since the market opened in two thousand twelve. Um, it was an important judgment to make when we created the. Uh, uh, the legislation. Uh, we wanted to create uh, an attractive uh, uh, market and uh, being a small country, it, um, uh, especially when it comes to, to poker, which uh, even though it's declining, it's still, it's still a, a big, uh, big game, uh, it would be suicide to, uh, to ring fence the Danish market. There would be no players that would be driven towards the legal, play, uh, uh, legal operators uh, from day one. Um, so it's important to have the international li liquidity. Our experience is that the player tend to uh, go to the, towards the games with the biggest winnings. Uh, that's at least what we see with the, we have the national lottery and that's declining and the Euro jackpot, which is across jurisdictions, is, uh, is on the rise. It's significantly uh, smaller uh, chance to win, but uh, the price is 10 times bigger. So. Uh, I uh, guess that's what that's what the player wants. Uh, well, I know about the the recommendations from the EU, and which we have taken a look into and commented on, and um, we could see that the, most of the recommendations were already covered by our leg legislation, directly or indirectly. Um, uh, looking at the, uh, a restriction on the advertisement, uh, I don't see that coming in. The, uh, any near future, at least it's really not the Danish way to, uh, to go about things, to make restrictions like this. Like this. Uh, so you won't see the parliament in Denmark uh, making restrictions on promoting gambling in primetime TV or something. We crea created a framework for advertisement and within uh, where the operators can, uh, 
and work within.